Creating a zip file is actually really helpful when you're trying to email a lot of images or even a bunch of PDFs. It actually compresses things down a lot of the time so the size of the document is smaller. You can also send multiple files in one single document uh, and that kind of helps too. Um, I'm using Leopard um, so the uh, command is actually labeled slightly differently but We'll go over that in a second. Uh, for ex the first example here, I'm just going to use uh, my pictures folder that uh, starting out is 1.3 megs. Um, it's just got uh, it's just got a few graphics in here. Um, and I want to say send that in an email. I just go over to the folder, right click on it, and go down to compress pictures or if you're using Tiger, it's actually going to show up as Create Archive of Pictures. So you just click on that, and it almost instantaneously makes a zip file of that folder. Now if I press Command-I on that and get info, you can see that the size of the folder is actually a lot smaller now. Um, and uh, when you send that to someone, they just get a folder just like this. It works between Windows and Mac. Uh, if they double click on it, it just unarchives it and puts it in a folder. And here are all of my graphics. So that's how you create a zip file out of a folder. Uh, what if you wanted to just take a bunch of items that are on your desktop and put them into one zip file? Well, you can just highlight them all. Just drag and highlight and right click on at least one of them and compress these four items and that will create an archive.zip. You can obviously change the name of it, but the default, when it doesn't know what the name of the folder is or anything like that, it's just going to create archive.zip. So that's how you create a zip folder on Mac OS X. It's really helpful to use and it's built in.